excessive heat warnings out towards our desert spots. So those excessive heat warnings also will go into effect today, though. Um, so a little bit earlier for our desert areas. Both are just letting you know that if you're outdoors exerting yourself, just take caution. We're talking about uh, dangerous heat. You don't. How pretty is this shot? Over to Malibu, 55 degrees. You have that marine layer out there. It's just has come on into the coastline, but it's not very deep. So the good news is we're going to see this area um, of low pressure, a little coastal eddy, move on out of here. We get back some sunshine for the afternoon, and it should look really nice overall. 55 degrees if you're heading out into Malibu today. Now, here's what it looks like as far as uh, your airport uh, is concerned. If you're traveling anywhere this weekend for Father's Day, most of the hubs, no delays at the moment. So we're looking good. And um, it is going to be windy. So I want to mention this because specifically today, Lancaster, Palmdale area, you're going to see an increase in wind velocity as we get into your afternoon, and it'll stay quite windy as we get into the evening. You're used to that. However, the winds that are going to be really picking up will happen between Saturday and Sunday night, and that's when we get into a high wind warning. We're talking about 65 mile per hour wind gusts. I mean, it is going to be dangerous wind there. We have some clouds today. I don't think we're going to have much in the way of clouds at all tomorrow. Look at that thin veil. No June gloom to talk about on your Saturday. And on Sunday, we might have a little bit to talk about along the coastline. But otherwise, inland, you start it with sunny skies, too, on your Sunday. It's going to look really nice out there. So I hope you have an average day. That's the only day I'm seeing average temperatures. So if we make it to 76, if we exceed it, we'll be a full swarm, 79. But at least it's cooling off. And then we're back into the lower 70s by Monday and Tuesday. And then if you are heading out the door for areas closer towards, it looks like our state. Brian Ruffle is in. Take a look at traffic this morning. How's it looking out there? Some more of a thinner marine layer that's sweeping across Southern California. Uh, this might be the last of it for the weekend. At least Saturday looks a whole lot clearer. So I think we're going to start out with some sunny skies for your morning start, which has been just non-existent last, uh, I don't know, it's been weeks now. This is what it looks like right now in the live Doppler 7000 HD. We have heat advisories out towards the Inland Empire. We have excessive heat warnings out towards our low desert spots. Both of these are just letting you know that if you are outdoors exerting yourself to take plenty of respiration, drink plenty of water, you don't want to be outside doing too much for too long. Certainly it can be a danger to your health. And then you head out towards areas of our desert weather out there. So about 27 mile per hour wind gusts happening as you get into your afternoon. And then we'll keep those 20s to teens all the way through the overnight period. And then the winds really pick up by the time we're heading into your Saturday night into Sunday. Now this is a cloud layer that we're looking at right now. It's going to peel away pretty quickly. So I think we're back to sunshine for a wonderful Friday. A wonderful Friday with Father's Day rolled into the weekend. On Saturday we do have a little bit of that cloud coverage, a thin veil of clouds right along the coastline today. That should peel away pretty quickly. And you'll notice that our inland areas, no June gloom to start out the morning for Saturday, and then it's gone and out of here very quickly for the coastline, if it does even develop. I don't think it will. On sa Sunday, now we do see the development of a little low spinning around, and I do think the coastline will get some cloud coverage for Sunday morning, but that also peels away very quickly. So it is going to be with above average temperature. So this will be the first solid seven days that most of these days are going to be above average. This is what it looks like today for heading out the door over in Van Nuys, about 59 degrees. It's 61 degrees over in Los Angeles. Temperatures into Long Beach, just about 65 degrees. And if you're heading out into Fullerton, just about 63. So it's looking pretty good in most of these areas if you're walking out the door. And again, most of the entire Southwest dealing with some very hot weather. Then you head out towards areas closer to Van Nuys. It'll be those 90s and 80s for the weekend. And then by Monday, we're cooling things down to about 79 degrees. It's going to be those 60s around through Tuesday. Brian Ruffalo's in. Take a look at